Okay, I know, I know, this is the second time I've posted late, but I'm actually shooting this video on Carrie Underwood Wednesday. The day is not over yet. It is 11.43 on Wednesday. I do still use a flip phone, and I like to. I do a thing every Wednesday on this channel called Carrie Underwood Wednesday. That's when I listen to a cover of a Carrie Underwood song and react to it. I'm doing covers because I've heard all of Carrie Underwood's recorded music, and until she has new stuff to put out, uh, I want to be able to... Uh, listen to new Carrie Underwood stuff, because I didn't really know she had sung so many covers. I mean, I watched her on American Idol, but otherwise, I haven't heard all these, and so far, they're all amazing. So, uh, maybe I need to find a bad one, <laughs> because I like all of these a lot. I put up another poll on Twitter. You guys voted for, uh, by far, how great thou art. And it was interesting seeing, you know, uh, what Carrie Underwood fans wanted to listen to, because there seems to be a little dissension between some Carrie Underwood fans that think like, oh, everyone's always saying to listen to How Great Thou Art, and it's like a little passe or something, um, and others really, really are gunning for some of these like smaller covers that don't get as much attention. Now, in my experience with Carrie Underwood Wednesday, uh, I'm really liking the stuff that's not in the typical wheelhouse of Carrie Underwood, not in the kind of So Small or... Um, inside your heaven or Jesus take the wheel type Carrie Underwood. I think of her standing in a big ball gown, singing straightforward, earnest, beautiful ballads. Uh, but the stuff I've really liked has either been kind of like pulled back and jazzy, like someone to watch over me, or uh, the rock in Paradise City. Anyway, this song, you know, won the poll by a lot, and I'm excited to listen to it. And let's check this out. You open the floodgates. I hope I can make it through this. <laughs> okay, so already crying at the very beginning. Miranda with Blake beside her. She's kind of just disregarding the beat behind her, just singing. I'll play that guitar, Vince. That sounds good. I love how Vince Gill's become this like. Overseer of country. Mm. I believe her more on this than I do on a lot of her ballads, you know? That's a conviction. <laughs> Oh, already going for the belty harmonies, and we're at like, you know, how far? A minute 30 into a five minute video? Jennifer Nettles knows good voice, she'll clap along. I'm glad this is like a little more in the pocket now. It was a little like rhythmically weird at the beginning to me. But yeah, I was saying I love that Vince Gill is this kind of overseer of the country crop and almost like a purveyor of quality in the last 10 years. Like if Vince Gill's attached, it's a good song. Like Chris Young's last song, Sober Saturday Night, amazing. Chris Young's new song, not the point in this video. Yeah, I can feel Carrie's religious conviction, and I know she's a Christian, she's pretty outspokenly so, and I always give her props for that. I think everyone's very sheepish about admitting what they really believe today, and she's never really shied away from her Christian faith, and so I think singing an old hymn, I, I read that as a true, a true thing that Carrie Underwood cares about. And I can feel that she thinks this is a special moment right now. <laughs> a lot of guitar solo. No wonder she went for the harmony early. <laughs> oh, Martina. If you get a nod from Martina, you can sing. <laughs> I love Carrie Underwood Wednesday. <laughs> They're already standing.
Wow. <laughs> Man, everyone was on their feet, like, already by the end. <laughs> wow. Second week in a row. I'm not crying. It's just watery, okay? I just get moved easily by music, okay? I'm not ashamed of that. I like good music. Um, but I'm like, do, do people think I'm, like, drunk in these videos always? Because I'm always, like, almost crying. But, uh, because damn... She can sing. Her ability is breathtaking very often. She can hold notes and has such power behind them that that's impressive in the same way watching an Olympian is impressive. You know, almost sometimes watching her sing, it could be like someone pole vaulting and clearing a 15 foot bar. It's just like, holy crap, how do you do that? So there's like the, the physical actual fact that she can sing like that, that's amazing. But then that's coupled with the the conviction with which she delivered those words and there's something to be said for some of these old hymns you don't last for hundreds and hundreds of years as a popular hymn without a strong melody and and whoever wrote how great thou art um i'm always trying to give songwriters credit in these videos but i don't know their songwriter of how great thou art but that person deserves uh ample credit for creating an incredible melody i think when you couple such power with such a recognizable melody it creates magic and there is something about some of these really old songs that sort of invite you to be a little more of a show-off because we all know them so well it's the same reason that people go for crazy runs and stuff in the national anthem if that were a melody we didn't know that well you'd stick to it even the first chorus carrie was going for for big harmony notes I want to get deep for a second here because I think that there is an element as someone that is a Christian but is also a skeptic and is also always thinking about doubt. I plugged my playlist last uh, video, but that playlist I made, Country, Faith, and Doubt, that's because that's true to my experience of faith uh, where you're thinking a lot about like, do I believe this? Does this make sense? Kind of no, but I kind of still believe it. I don't know. One of the ways in which I think is the clearest evidence that there must be something bigger, there must be a God, is seeing the conviction of it in other people. And to watch Carrie Underwood, as silly as it is, to watch some American Idol winner in a glitzy dress get on a stage and sing a song and say, oh, that's some kind of evidence that there <laughs> might be God. When I see the conviction in other people who believe so fiercely in something, that is inspiring to me as well. Does that make sense? Some of the best evidence I feel I have of the existence of God is just seeing other people believe so fiercely that there is a God. And to hear Carrie Underwood sing about God's greatness, it just gets my gears turning. I loved that. What was I saying at the beginning? Again, just like in Paradise City where I was like, I like when Carrie Underwood is pulled back. Uh, and then by the end of the video, I was like, no, that was stupid. I kind of like her when she's really loose and rocking. And then in this video, I said, I don't really like when Carrie Underwood is just straightforward singing a ballad. And then at the end of this, I'm like, yeah, I freaking love when Carrie Underwood is just straightforward singing a ballad. Maybe I just like Carrie Underwood as she delivers things the way she wants to. That went all over the place, but geez, that was beautiful. I loved when they all got up and, and applauded her uh, on their feet, like only 75% of the way through the performance. I can't believe she held it together. I would just start crying, I think, obviously. That was awesome. Give me some more recommendations. We'll do another Twitter poll next week. There's some very passionate, it's like a very vocal few of you. Uh, that really want me to hear Neon Moon or Fix You, uh, but <laughs> keep not winning these polls. So just give me your recommendations. Hit like, hit subscribe if you haven't. I talk about a lot of country music here. There's a whole bunch of videos if you look through my playlist. Oh my gosh, I've recorded for 13 minutes. How? I'm going to go. Okay, bye guys.